all you buck nuts got after me for my take. And you disagreed on Twitter What what was your take? So Quincy Porter committed to you guys over the weekend, right? I think it was Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. He visited Columbus, and then the next day, I believe, he was supposed to go up to Ann Arbor. He committed to Ohio State and Mm -hmm. canceled his um, visit the next day at Michigan. So we'll start here. Is it crazy that a wide receiver commits to Ohio State over Michigan? Of course not. No, a highly re- highly rated wide receiver is going to commit to Ohio State. That's not there's nothing new there. Mm-hmm. What I thought was just very interesting is that, and you and I have talked about this before, where we say even if you're committed, it makes sense to go on other ret- recruiting trips. You get That's free true. free trips. You probably got pals that you're going to go with. You're making friends during the whole process. Go do the trips. But yeah. you, I, I believe, I have a take that I think is rooted in something that Ryan Day or somebody there slipped him another something to say, hey, thanks for the commitment, but also let's cancel the trip. With all the money you guys are spending right now, which again, we've talked about, not saying it's a bad thing, but is it really that much of a surprise? Would it would it shock the world that much if that news came out? Your thoughts? Okay. Let Brez, let's say you are a lawyer, okay? You're you're coming out okay. of college. Um and you you're looking at two firms, all right? Now, one firm you may not get paid as much early but you do know they are the best at their practice. And by the time you leave there, chances are you'll either be a partner or you can go somewhere else and have a great job because their reference means something. The fact that you work for them means something or, or you can go to the other, another, the other firm who doesn't have any, they haven't had much success in let's say 20 plus years at your position. Um, they They're currently kind of they current they currently aren't uh let's say funding your section of the firm that much and they don't produce much out of there and you get you may now maybe you you'll get some uh some good money ahead of time maybe you'll get more chances to uh, show yourself in court mm-hmm. But usually, Bryce, if you were you would take option A. You would take option A. And option A in this in this context is Ohio State, the Ohio okay, so State you, University. Fantastic you, analogy. I hate to give that to you. Fantastic analogy. It was very good. Thank you. I appreciate that. But but it's not that's not necessarily what I'm saying. So basically if you're if you're a recent law school grad, past the bar, you're applying for jobs, you have mm-hmm. interview A and then you have interview B at rival company at rival firm the next day. My point here is that law firm a, we are nerding out right now, but keep going. Law firm a <laughs> flipped you an extra signing bonus check okay. to not go to interview at law firm B. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't okay, think right. that's that crazy. All right. It, it, it's crazy for this. All right. I'm, all right. Is it crazy? No. I thank won't call you. it crazy. Thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. But compared to what I'm saying, I don't like the way it sounds. It's more plausible <laughs> that what I'm saying happened. You maybe right, and, and, and you haven't heard me talk about Quincy Porter much. I didn't think it was coming to Ohio State. But you, you go to Columbus and you see the the cathedral of college football and the stained glass and the bell tower. And then you, you know, you, you meet all these wire, you see all the wire receivers that have come through there going all the way back to Chris Carter, to Garrett Wilson, to JSN, to Martin and Ted Gay Jr. You see all this. Why would you not want to come to Ohio state? That's I agree. And you know, and you know, we were, I get you, it. you know, we're going to throw the ball. <laughs> you're you're going to, well, not this year, but the coming it, years, you're going to I think you still will. It, it's, 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 hey, listen, you're going to go there and compete for that those that, that position. 
Garrett Wilson talked about that too long a few weeks ago. Maybe we could go about how being at Ohio State, like how how it made him better because in that room, like everyone's everyone's trying to like learn from each other, do better than each other. It's real competitive in the wide receiver room at Ohio State. True. So. True. And, right, well, and I'm just, pre- I'm just pre- saying, pressure either crushes or make diamonds. And usually we I, make diamonds. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think like it's crazy. There's no surprise that a top, you thought y'all top, was gonna, you thought y'all was going to top tier wide receiver. <laughs> no, I just, I think, I think he was, I think, I think you're looking forward to the trip. Uh-huh. You're going to go on the trip. And I think Ryan Day is like, all right, you're committed here. Like, here's the thing. I you think he just Columbus, as well Columbus committed. is way, Columbus is cooler than Ann Arbor. No, it's not. Yes. No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, you yes, want, it's it a is. big city now. Ann it's, Arbor even, it's like pre- Austin. Ann Arbor is prissy. It's old. Smells. No. It's none of that. The bar. The bar. That's true. Tra- the bar seems trash. Outside of Zingerman's, there's nothing else. It goes Zingerman's, then the big house. I think Zingerman's overrated. It's too expensive. That's crazy. That's crazy to say. All right. Well, you comments. We'll, we'll put a poll on. We'll we put had a poll on guys. that. 100 comments in our last video. There was something sparked. I'm sure this was sparking another conversation. Buckeye fans were all in my business. It was great. And they disagreed. And it sounds like you disagree. I don't think the take's too crazy, but whatever. It is what it is.